Hey everyone, <clears throat> today we're, we're down here pouring a 50 by 18 basement floor. Got some styrofoam down there using a 3500 PSI mix with fiber mesh in it. Uh, it's about 20, 20 degrees out this morning. Right now you see the steam coming out of the back of that truck. He's got about 140 degree hot water he's putting in the load to get it mixed up. One cool thing about today is we get a new power screed, the MBW Screed Demon battery operated super screed right there. You can see it. Let's see if I can get a little closer look here. So this is the first job. We'll be trying that out today. You can see it doesn't have a gas motor. It just has a little place where you put a, we're putting a Milwaukee battery, M18 battery inside there. And we've got a 12 foot screed board on it. And we'll see how it works here today on this floor. So first time using it. And uh, we're gonna show you guys just how it works. We have the other screed demon with the gas powered motor and that works really, really good. So I'm assuming this one's gonna work really good too. This is how that conveyor works, guys. That boot comes in real handy. Puts it right where you want it and then he can he can move that conveyor, he can move it in and out about 10 or 12 feet so he doesn't have to stop and pull the truck ahead all the time. But that makes pouring a concrete floor like this inside a basement a lot more convenient. All right, so we're getting the screed demon out. First use with the battery powered one. We're gonna strike our wet pad from pad to pad. It's got a little throttle on it there for on the right hand. You just push the throttle. And there you go. Doesn't get much easier than that. Screed concrete. Got a nice vibration to it. Now, MBW sent me this Creed Demon to try it for you guys, so I could show you guys just how it works and what my opinion is. They they didn't pay me to do this video. They didn't. They're not compensating me in any way. They just sent me the Screed Demon and, and wanted me to show everybody because they know that a lot of people that watch my videos do concrete. And that's so that's why I'm making this video for you guys. Now make sure you, you hang out and watch the, the whole video because at the end I got some really good footage of just how this thing works too. So, um, but right now, and I also have a link down in the description where you could go and, and find this and purchase it if you want to. At least you'll have the option there if you if you think you like this thing now what we're doing is we've got a two level basement we're pouring with it again I just got it the day before we we were scheduled to do this basement so it worked out pretty good this is a really good one to try it on now I have the the gas powered screed demon like I said earlier in the video and we really like that that works that works really really good so it gives me a good comparison versus this battery operated one and a gas one. I don't think there's any other battery operated power screed on the market. I haven't seen one. I think they're first, they're the first ones. And it, uh, so far on that bottom little piece, we really, really liked it. It worked out really good down there. I got a little better video footage of it up here on this top one. That'll be coming right up. I just wanted to show you how we use that boot and that conveyor to get the concrete down. Now I'm using a wet pad here in the middle to mag my my grade in the middle. I shot that with a laser earlier and I put a nail through that stake so I knew right where the heights needed to be. And that's how we make our wet pads whenever we use a, a power screed like this. A lot of times we'll strike them by hand, just the pad, and then we'll use the power screed after. But this one we wanted to try and just see how nice and level it got it when we, we actually strike off the pad using the, the vibratory screed and it worked really good this thing is just so smooth that's what I noticed is you twist you just twist the handle there up top where my right hand is 
and that starts the vibration and then you just need just to slowly pull it towards you the screed board itself it it doesn't want to sink into the concrete as long as you pull back on it nice and light and even it's going to float right on top and then the speed at which you pull it back is just going to be dependent on the slump of the concrete you know we're pouring today is a little bit drier than we normally pour probably it's probably like a five five and a half so we just took it nice and easy we were in no hurry here the, the concrete wasn't setting up on us too fast even though we had hot water and accelerator in it um, but I just being the first time running it we just uh, went nice and easy and we wanted to try it out I held it at half throttle I held it at full throttle uh, either worked good I probably used it more myself closer to the full throttle with the vibration and it was really really quiet it's that's one thing it's probably at least half as quiet as the the gas powered ones I've used you can actually talk to somebody right next to you without having to raise your voice with this thing and it's really light you can see how nice and nice and even that gets the concrete and it rides right on our wet pad so we magged a wet pad on the wall according to a chalk line we had there and then we just use the other wet pad on the other side we're going to get a little more concrete poured out and then i got another really good shot of this thing where i'm just going to let you guys listen so you can hear how quiet it is it really makes the bull floating easy too because you're vibrating a lot of pace right to the surface so pretty much just one pass with a bull float down and back and it's it's bull floated really nice yeah this is going to be a really good shot to show you guys just how nice and quiet this is Let me know down in the comments if you think that's quiet or if you think it's loud. I thought this was a really good shot to show, you know, if anybody's interested in one of these or if you have an old one and you're getting ready to buy another one this right here should tell you if this is going to be right for you i you know my opinion is i would use this this is nice i thought it was really nice and you know you, you we're old school so we would taught to hand screed everything and pick screed everything but after trying this you know i would definitely change over and not have to bend over you're going to see right here in a minute how we when we finish up this one less little last piece how luke screeds the rest of it to finish off and you tell me is it easier to screed like this standing up look at the effort that luke is putting into just pulling that screed back there's barely any effort if anything the guy doing the raking is, is doing most of the work versus in a minute here you'll see how how Luke's going to kick screed the very last little piece, you know, bent over, pulling the straight edge back. There's such a difference in screeding doing it this way versus doing it the old school way. So this thing's really, really quiet is what we notice compared to the other ones. The vibration is like a nice, tight, simple vibration. It doesn't vibrate quite as much as the other one, but it vibrates enough to screed the concrete down. So it's going to be really easy going on your on your hands, on your arms. And it's probably five pounds lighter than the other one too. It feels like it. Yeah, you can see how as you screed you're also really smoothing in the surface out and get you're getting it nice and level as long as you're watching both your ends and making sure both ends are touching they're leaving just a tiny little line as you screed and you know you're getting it flat 
see how Luke's making sure everything's filled in for him. Making sure it's not low. And it's not too high. And how nice, nice and smooth that leaves it. So we get it down to about this point, and then we screed the rest of it by hand. Now Darren's just going to pick that up and pass it to me, and I'll go start washing it up. But watch how Luke now has to finish that out by hand with a small screed, and the difference the difference in effort it takes to screed by hand versus screeding with this. Again, I'll have a link down in the description where you can go check this out more and maybe find where you can purchase this. But now look, see how he's bent over, kicking and pulling the screed at the same time? So if you screed by hand normally, there's just a whole different type of effort you need when you use uh, that, especially that battery powered one where it's so light. Now I'm going to show you right here at the end just how easy it is to take the, the screed apart and just how small it folds up. You can put it, literally put it right in the back seat of your truck. Luke's just going to finish bull floating that, get that smoothed out. And there, so this is how we take it apart. You just open the open the case, take the little wrench out, and there's two bolts that hold that screed board on. Pull the battery out right there. You can see how small that battery is. That's an M18 Milwaukee battery. And then we just loosen these two bolts. And those bolts don't come off, they just they loosen up and they clip on that screed board. And they have they have multiple different lengths of screed boards. We just we like the 12, it's probably the most convenient one. We could we could use a 14 every once in a while, but the 12 is pretty convenient for most everything we do. So you just loosen them and then you back them out. And when you back them out, it's going to just fall right off that board pretty much. Just have to move it, wiggle it just a little bit. There, and it comes right off like that. Then you just fold the kickstand up, put the wrench back in. It's got a nice little hook for it that hooks that wrench nice and handy. Fold it up and you're done. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.